Hey, what's going on, guys? I hope and pray that you all are doing well. Um, I'm so excited. We are on day number three of the 31 day practicing the Proverbs Thought Transformation Challenge. And I just pray, man, that you guys are getting some amazing downloads in and through this challenge. I hope and pray that as you're reading those Proverbs, man, that God is dropping knowledge and wisdom and he's impressing upon your heart ways that you can put these things into practice in your personal lives um guys i, I listen i want to just jump right into it um i'm so excited this morning because i was as i woke up this morning i thought about my journal and i thought about going through my journal and writing some things down and you know god just kind of wake wakes you up sometimes with all these ideas and downloads. So you wake up, you jump out of the bed, you know, Lord, thank you, Father. Um, and then you just get right to it, right? There, there's just some things that he's put on your heart and you want to get them out. You want to write them down. You want to process them. And what I found so amazing this morning was reading Proverbs 3, right? We're on day number three. So we're reading Proverbs number three. And my encouragement, my download, came directly out of the very first the first sentence right and so i want to share that experience with you guys and just share what i what i pulled from this um but it was just amazing because i was already starting to practice it before i even read it cuz the stuff he was dropping on my heart this morning i had to get it out in a hurry cuz it was so so good and was so so precious right some great information that I know is going to bless me and bless you in the future. And so I wanted to write it down, but then how it connected directly to Proverbs three was just amazing. So let me, let me, let me say something. I don't want to forget to say this before I jump into mine and then I'll uh, go ahead and, and I'll pray for us. Um, Make sure that as you're reading these proverbs, right, it's so easy to read read proverbs or 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 read um, you know words of wisdom and 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 words you know like when we when we think about principles, it's so easy to look at them from a perspective of just general good information, right? It's applicable to anyone and everyone because it's just good information. But I want to encourage you as i was encouraged yesterday through a text message from one of our pastors at our church pastor carolyn williams shout out to pasadena church shout out to pastor carolyn um she texted me and pretty much through the conversation she was expressing how she had never read the proverbs end to end like you know you know verse one through verse whatever like literally reading it end to end and it was something that i had never done as well because proverbs they're the kinds of uh, scripture that, you know, you kind of like read a little bit here or there and you kind of pull out key things. Maybe you've heard it preached and now you go to that particular address in the Bible and you pull out that one little piece. But to literally sit and process and read literally every word, every sentence, every verse for each proverb end to end. Some of us, we've just never done that before. And so we were just texting back and forth about that. And I just wanted to share that, you know, share that encouragement with you. When you're reading it, read it for what God is saying to you in this season. Because principles and wisdom and knowledge is universally applicable. But to read it to say, Lord, what are you saying to me? What actions are you encouraging me to take? How am I to apply this word, this verse, these scriptures to my life so that I might be wiser, that I might be more discerning, that I might be more successful? Remember, the purpose of the Proverbs is a disciplined and a successful life. So make sure that as you're reading it, read it and say, Lord, as I'm reading it, what are you saying to me specifically? I know it's applicable to everyone, but what are you saying directly to me? So let me just share uh, verse one. I mean, it's right out the gate. It says, my child, never forget things I have taught you. That was it for me. As soon as I read that, because like I, you know, like I was saying, I woke up this morning and my journal was on my heart. When you journal, these are things of the past. Months ago, years ago, decades ago, right? I've been journaling for over 20 years, decades of information. 
And this is what it does. It says, store my commands in your heart. These are the things that he's already commanded us, things that he's already said to us, right? It says, if you do this, it is conditional because you ain't got to do it. He could have woke me up this morning and I could have just said, yeah, that's some good good information, Lord. But I ain't I ain't got time for that right now. I could have said that. Right. But, you know, by grace, <laughs> by God's grace, I didn't. Thank God. It says, but if you do this, you will live many years and your life will be satisfying. That's the key. Many years and your many years will be satisfying. Guys, the goal of life is to not accumulate like years. Like the goal is not how many years can I live? The goal is how many years can I live satisfied, full of the joy of the Lord? How many years can I live being effective? How many years can I live being successful? How many years can I live honoring God? How many years can I live, right, being a reflection of God? How many years can I live honoring the Lord? How many years can I live, right, winning souls? How many years can I live? Right. Impacting and influencing in a positive way, my community, my church, my country. Right. How can I live the best quality of life? It's not just the accumulation of years, but it's the it's the quality over quantity. So he said, if I if I keep going back to what he said to me years ago, months ago, weeks ago, years ago, decades ago. If I keep refreshing these things in my mind, if I keep returning to these things, then I'm going to live a satisfying life. And I don't have time to go into it because I want to keep these short. I can tell you, man, I was so, so blessed this morning. So, so blessed. Things that I've been praying about for years, to be honest. Um, he was starting to unpack this morning just that fast. So it was through me returning back to what he had already said. He wasn't dropping something new. He was reminding me of what he already said. And so in my own way, this is how I'm practicing the proverb today. I'm returning back to what he already said. I'm going to spend some time today in my journal. So uh, again, guys, I want to encourage you, drop it down below comments. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Facebook, drop the comments below. Share with us if you so choose. You don't have to, but if you want to, how are you practicing the Proverbs? What stood out for you, right? What 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 gem, what nugget, right, did God drop in your soul? Um, again, you don't got to share, but if you want to share, I would love, and I, I'm sure others would love to hear from you. So I want to encourage you to drop your comments below on any social media platform that you're catching this. All right, that's it, man. I love y'all. I'm praying for y'all. I'm believing in y'all, man. Until tomorrow. Love y'all, man. I'm out.